Today we're doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We completed basic JavaScript course and now we are in ES6. If you haven't completed basic JavaScript, definitely check out my channel. I have a whole playlist on all 113 challenges that will walk you through that uh, if you get stuck. And now we are going to destructure, use destructuring assignment to extract values from objects. So this is another ES6, hence ES6, uh, another ES6 feature that's added. So this is definitely helpful, definitely a super useful feature. Uh, and yeah, let's get into it. So the core of what the challenge wants us to do is to replace the two assignments with an equivalent destructuring assignment. So replace these two assignments here with a destructured assignment. Um, it should assign the variables today and tomorrow, okay, to the values of today and tomorrow in the high temperatures object. So we want these these variables today and tomorrow to be equal to these values. As you can see right now, this syntax, they are, this works. Uh, if I go down here and I console log today, you can see we do get out 77. So this does work, but what we're going to do is destructure it using this new ES6 syntax. So whenever we have an object, this is an object, and we want to pull a value from it, uh, we can destructure the object using this syntax here. So, for example, user, uh, here, name and age equal user, right? So this would destructure the name and age out of this user object, and we would have access to them uh, with the name and age variable. So, number three, four, okay, cool. So yeah, basically, um, these two values will be created from the respective user object. So we can see name is John Doe, age is 34. If we tried to access name of this user, we'd have to access user.name. But if we destructure like this, now we can just access name because we're destructuring this name value out of user, right? So const name and age, the same keys in the object here, right? So we're destructuring name and age, and we're creating variables for them with the, the uh, name of name and age from user. So this is the syntax that we use. I hope that made sense. I would read through this or watch this back again if that didn't make sense, but quite literally, we are destructuring. So these name and age values are within an object here. And instead of accessing name with user.name, so user dot name would give us John Doe, we can just create a constant of a destructured name and age of user, right? So we're taking user and we're creating a variable for name and age, which match name and age within user. Uh, and now we can just access name and we'll get John Doe. We can just access age and we'll get 34. This works because we're using this curly bracket syntax, which is destructuring. So we're saying, pull these values out, destructure those values, name and age, out of user, and also create a constant for them. So we're creating a variable with the same keys, the same name, from user, right? So I hope that made sense. We can quite literally do the same thing here. So instead of accessing this object high temperatures dot today, the today value, we can just say const today, because this is what it's called in high temperatures equals high temp wait, temperatures. There we go. And then we can just kind of say the same thing with this one. This one's going to be tomorrow. And now if we run this, as you can see, this works the exact same because these values the value of today and tomorrow, we're pulling from this high temperatures object and creating a variable for them here, right? So we're destructure. so note the highlighting. This is kind of how this is working in terms of syntax, if you follow my highlighting, right? So we have today destructured from high temperatures. So then we're grabbing today and this value and creating a variable a constant of today, which is equal to that value because we destructured it 
from high temperatures, which has this value, and this today variable is the key to access the data we want, but now is also a constant that we can just access directly. Hope that made sense. Hope you're following my, you know, the, the flow of data in this, the actual thought process or the logic process of the code. Um, but yeah, quite literally, when you const whatever in a curly brace like this, you can note it's same curly braces as an object. You're just, you're not putting it inside of, you're pulling it out of that object. And this today exists within that. Same thing, age and name exist within user. So that's why we can destructure them in this way. And you'll note I did it like this and we have today and tomorrow, but we don't even have to do it that way. We're pulling them from the same high temperatures object. We're destructuring them from the same high temperatures object. So I can just actually erase this entirely and destructure the value of today in a variable of today and destructure the value of tomorrow in a value of tomorrow all from high temperature. So now we have access to these two variables that directly connect to these two values. And that's all we had to do for this one. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, kind of watch the video again, reread this as you're going through Free Code Camp yourself. But, you know, important thing to note is if you have something in an object, if you instantiate it with a constant like this, you're not putting it inside of an object, you're pulling it from whatever object it's equal to. You're destructuring it from whatever object it's equal to. Okay, hope that helped. See you guys in the next challenge.